good afternoon everybody Bob KK4 DIV and today I just want to show you what I've been doing on a rainy day because I couldn't get outside and play with the satellites like I wanted to so I decided to make the best of this afternoon and I learned a little bit about HF packet as many of you may or may not know I do run a bulletin board an, a VHF bulletin board here in town uh, in Panama City using the BPQ32 software uh, there you can see it uh, on the main monitor I have here in the shack. Uh, that's my home desktop computer. And I use it with, uh, there is the radio I use, the FT8800, Yezu, and the Packrat 232 uh, uh, TNC. So what I've been doing today is, uh, like I said, I've been learning a little bit about HF Packet. And I've been turned on to this sound modem by UZ7HO. So I used that in conjunction with my BPQ32 software. Created another port, port 5. And the call sign for that port is KK4DIV-5. And what I have here is I have my little portable station this is my little laptop I always use for portable digital work I've got a FT817 right there and the mag loop we're just gonna be running a half a watt with the 817 because uh, we don't need a whole lot of power we're close and the FT450D is going to be what's going to be used for the HF side with the bulletin board and we're running on 40 meters and that uh, FT450 is only going to be running 5 watts. That's as low as it goes, so that's as low as we're going to make it. But yeah, 40 meters right here. I just want to do a quick demonstration for y'all because I think this is just some stuff that is just too cool. So we've got the sound modem software there by UZ7HO. And we have this program here called Easy Term by UZ7HO and if I hit this connect button right here you see we got a call from KK4DIV call to KK4DIV-5 we're gonna hit this connect button so it takes it just a second to start going because my computer is old and slow there it is it's already starting to connect and you can see the bulletin board is doing its thing. And the sound modem screen is doing its thing. You see the waterfall there, the signal's going down, so we do have stuff happening. All right, so we're connected to the node. And once you get connected to the node, node you have several options here. Uh, we're going to type BBS because I want to connect to the bulletin board system of the node and once you type that and hit enter again computer is slow there it goes it'll start doing its thing there yeah that's just an old slow computer it's an old Windows 7 machine single core processor AMD I can't remember what that processor was, but it's an old single core light duty processor. Well, there we go, we're connected. And if I type in RM for read my messages on the right keyboard. <laughs> Actually, I think I was supposed to put LM. That's okay. How about LM for list messages? List my messages. There they go. Now they're starting to list. So you can see I've got some messages here. I sent one to N4KGL. Got another message there. And a whole bunch of housekeeping results will show up because the system gives me an email every day with housekeeping information. So that's it. I just want to give everybody a quick uh, demonstration of this HF packet software using the UZ7HO software. So 
I might keep this up. I might uh, leave this up and run it on 40 meters so people uh, anywhere could uh, log in and uh, leave a message for some folks here in Panama City. I think that might be kind of cool. Anyway, y'all have a great day. 73 to you. This is Bob, KK4DIV. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.